ലാസ്റ്റ് സെക്ഷനിൽ നമ്മൾ ഗ്രീൻസ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ്റെ ഐഗൺ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ എക്സ്പാൻഷൻ എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ചെയ്തു ആൻഡ് ഹിയർ ഐ എം ഗോയിങ് ടു ഡു എ പ്രോബ്ലം ബേസ്ഡ് ഓൺ ദാറ്റ് തിയറി സോ ദി ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഈസ് ഡിറ്റർമിൻ ദി ഗ്രീൻസ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ അസോസിയേറ്റഡ് വിത്ത് ദി ബൗണ്ടറി വാല്യൂ പ്രോബ്ലം ഡി സ്ക്വയർ വൈ ബൈ ഡി എക്സ് സ്ക്വയർ ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു എഫ് ഓഫ് എക്സ് വിത്ത് ദി ബൗണ്ടറി കണ്ടീഷൻസ് വൈ ഓഫ് സീറോ ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ ആൻഡ് വൈ പ്രൈം ഓഫ് വൺ ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ യൂസിംഗ് മെത്തേഡ് ഓഫ് എക്സ്പാൻഷൻ ഓഫ് ഗ്രീൻസ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ഇൻ ടേംസ് ഓഫ് ഓർത്തോ നോർമൽ ഫംഗ്ഷൻസ് ഓഫ് ദി ഓപ്പറേറ്റർ ഡി സ്ക്വയർ ബൈ ഡി എക്സ് സ്ക്വയർ സോ ഡി സ്ക്വയർ ബൈ ഡി എക്സ് സ്ക്വയർ ഓപ്പറേറ്റർ ഇതാണ് ഓക്കെ സോ ഇതിൻ്റെ നെസസറി തിയറി നമ്മൾ ഓൾറെഡി ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്തു സോ നൗ ആ തിയറി യൂസ് ചെയ്ത് നമുക്ക് പ്രോബ്ലം ചെയ്യാൻ നമുക്ക് ആവശ്യമായത് ദി ഓർത്തോ നോർമൽ ഫംഗ്ഷൻസ് ഓഫ് ഓപ്പറേറ്റർ ഡി സ്ക്വയർ ബൈ ഡി എക്സ് സ്ക്വയർ അതായത് അതിൻ്റെ ഐഗൺ ഫംഗ്ഷൻസ് ഏതാണെന്നുള്ളത് നമുക്കറിയണം അപ്പോൾ നമുക്കത് ചെയ്ത് നോക്കാം ഐഗൺ ഫംഗ്ഷൻസ് കണ്ടെത്തണം ദെൻ ഐഗൺ ഫംഗ്ഷൻസും കറസ്പോണ്ടിങ് ഐഗൺ വാല്യൂ ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ നമ്മുടെ ഗ്രീൻസ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ്റെ ഐഗൺ വാല്യൂ എക്സ്പാൻഷനിൽ നമുക്ക് സബ്സ്റ്റ്യൂട്ട് ചെയ്താൽ മതി ഓക്കെ സോ ദി ഗിവൺ ഇക്വേഷൻ ഈസ് ഡി സ്ക്വയർ വൈ ബൈ ഡി എക്സ് സ്ക്വയർ ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു എഫ് ഓഫ് എക്സ് and this can be written as l operating on y of x is equal to f of x so our operator l is equal to d square by d x square now i can take phi of x as the orthonormal functions of l corresponding to an eigen value lambda okay then that means l operating on phi of x will give you lambda times phi of x and we have the eigen the, the corresponding boundary conditions phi of 0 is equal to phi of 0 is equal to 0 and phi prime of 1 is equal to 0 these are the two boundary conditions okay so if i substitute l l here then we you have, you have d square phi by dx square phi means phi of x actually samayath en phi nu mathra eludullu but actually phi means phi of x d square phi by dx square is equal to lambda phi of x so this implies d square phi by d square phi by dx square minus lambda phi is equal to 0 now this equation this what is what are the solution of this equation idu nammal harmonic oscillator equation alla sin plus aanengil so in this case your solution phi of x will be equal to the solution phi of x can be taken as some constant times e raised to what lambda square alla lambda ullad appo root lambda varum root lambda x plus some b e raised to minus root lambda x this can be the general solution ini nammal adinathu rendu boundary conditions apply cheyittu namukku a and b and values determine cheyan mattu nokka so i am applying first boundary condition so according to my first boundary condition phi of 0 is equal to 0 so phi of 0 is equal to 0 that implies 0 is equal to a a into e raised to root 0 e raised to root lambda into 0 varum that is 1 plus e raised to minus root lambda into 0 that is e raised to 0 e raised to 0 is 1 a plus b or you have b is equal to minus a so one result i b is equal to minus a now let us apply second boundary condition and if you apply second boundary condition that is phi prime 1 is equal to 0 for this you have to determine phi prime now phi prime will be equal to derivative of phi of x so derivative will be equal to hmm, root a into root lambda e raised to root lambda x minus b into root lambda e raised to root lambda x you are differentiating you are minus sign you are minus sign you are adding here b root lambda e raised to അവിടെ മൈനസ് ആയി ഉണ്ടോ റേസ് ടു മൈനസ് റൂട്ട് ലാംഡ എക്സ് ഓക്കെ നോ ഇൻ ദിസ് കേസ് ആൾസ് നമുക്ക് ഈ കണ്ടീഷൻ അപ്ലൈ ചെയ്യാം 
So 5 prime 0, 5 prime 1 na, is equal to 0. 5 prime 1 is equal to 0. So x in 1 node no. Then you, you have a root lambda e raised to root lambda. Now b is equal to minus a. So this will be equal to a minus b k a and substitute a. a root lambda e raised to minus root lambda is equal to 0. Okay. So now we will the terms of the equation in the next side. Like on the ticket, or we will cancel it. Now we will write 0 as a root lambda and the term will cancel it. So that means e raised to that means e raised to root lambda is equal to e raised to minus root lambda or this is e raised to root lambda 1 by e raised to root lambda so e raised to 2 root lambda is equal to 1 in the so e raised to 2 root lambda is equal to 1 so this is our second condition we will get here we will get here we will e raised to root lambda is equal to 1 in yeah. no minus 1 so we will get here we will get this side we will get here minus sign and down so minus one. Okay. So from here we you have e raised to two n plus one pi e raised to i two n plus one pi is equal to minus one. Then we result you see over there. The result clear on suppose e result I'm going to explain here. Suppose in this result if I am taking this result, suppose n is what n 1, 2, 3 and in this result n is equal to 0, 1, 2, etc. Suppose n is equal to 0, if I am substituting n is equal to 0, then n 0 and what is it? E raised to i pi. What is e raised to i pi? E raised to i pi is equal to cos, Euler's equation you see here, e cos pi plus i sin pi. Now sin pi is equal to 0, cos pi is equal to minus 1. So e raised to minus i pi is equal to minus 1. Similarly, then 1, 2, 3 substitute e raised to this equation will be raised to i 2n plus 1 pi is equal to minus 1. Okay. So if you equate these two equations, you will get 2 root lambda is equal to i into 2n plus 1 pi. Or root lambda is equal to this by 2. Will. So this is our result. Root lambda is equal to i into 2n plus 1 pi by 2. Now lambda will be square. Lambda will be equal to i square minus 1 over square over pi square by 4. Okay, so that lambda will be our eigenvalue. Our equation le eigenvalue lambda. Yana. So lambda determines the lambda will be equal to minus 2n plus 1 whole square pi square by 4. Yeah, so this is our lambda. Now I can I can go and give a lambda n substitute in the because what are the equation n is 0 over the ground state eigenvalue n in the value can such an eigenvalue to change. So lambda n is the eigenvalue corresponding to phi n. Okay, so now this lambda values I can substitute in the equation for phi. So phi of x will substitute here. Then you will get so we have phi of x is equal to a root. So phi of x is equal to a into e raised to root lambda x. What is root lambda i? 2n plus 1 pi by 2 2n plus 1 pi by 2 x x minus b is equal to a so minus a e raised to minus i 2n plus 1 pi by 2 x this is phi of x ok now I'm going to simplify it again you will see the equation you will see the equation so a common angle back in the e raised to i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta. So this will be cos 2n plus 1 pi by 2x plus i sin 2n plus 1 pi by 2x. 
first term expand yimbo. Now next term expand yimbo minus cos 2n plus 1 pi by 2x minus and now but you better minus and not already plus so plus i sin 2n plus 1 pi by 2x now you can you can cancel these two terms and the plus one minus one so you have 2 i a sin 2n plus 1 pi by 2x so this is your phi of x 2i a sin 2n plus 1 pi by 2x now we will normalize you know, y 2i a and the condition of the work so we will know the term suppose this is equal to capital N then our normalization condition applies here the condition for normalization is integral from 0 to 1 psi n star psi n dx is equal to 1 psi n dx sorry dx dx is equal to 1 so if we substitute this here then that will be equal to integral from 0 to 1 so that will be n square n square sin square 2n plus 1 pi by 2 x now we will integrate here so integrate here you can use a, use a relation sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2 this relation you see here or just now integrate here so if you integrate this term then that will be equal to sin square so it term will be now the limit apply here now so if you apply the limits this will be equal to if you integrate this this will be n square into oh, 0 to 1 1 by 2 1 by 2 dx minus minus cos 2n plus 1 pi by 2x dx now we will integrate in under term now first term we will integrate in the dx we will dx and x we will limit apply to 1 so first term we will integrate in the n square in the n square in the common under the n square so we will integrate in the 1 by 2 now cos we will integrate in the sin sin 2n plus 1 pi by 2x Limit apply to the sin 2n plus 1 pi by 2x is 0. Sin, oh, what I have 2 theta end up on the cover of 2 in 2. Now this 2, e 2, third and 2 cancel. Okay, but what I have 2 now. Okay, now sin n pi 0 on the limit to the apply to the under term of 0. So n square 1 by 2 is in the equation, in the condition. So n is equal to n is equal to root 2 n is equal to root 2 now we will substitute phi n of x will substitute we will phi of x will substitute here this equation will substitute here so substituting back here here you will get phi of so let me continue our discussion phi of x will root 2 substitute phi n of x will be equal to root 2 into sin 2n plus 1 pi by 2 x that is our orthonormal eigenfunction phi n of x is equal to is equal to root 2 into sin sin 2n plus 1 pi by 2 x so this is our one result now another result is lambda we have root lambda is equal to uh, root lambda is equal to i into 2n plus 1 pi by 2 or lambda and lambda and the values and okay now we have the greens function substitute you know here we have the greens function give, given by g of r1 g of r1 r2 is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to infinity phi n r1 phi n r2 by uh, lambda n minus lambda okay so in this case we have phi phi n r1 will be equal to so expand either summation n is equal to 0 to infinity phi n r1 will be equal to root 2 sin 2n plus 1 pi by 2 x in the power of r1 will function second function root 2 sin 
2n plus 1 pi by 2 r2 irum r2 by lambda n lambda n root root lambda n so lambda n kaanumbodhu square cheyana lambda n will be equal to i square minus 1 2n plus 1 square pi square by 4 nu varum okay now namukku onnu idana simplify idu cheyanu cheyan because what a root 2 what a root 2 under root 2 varum ee 4 oda varum 8 varum so this will be equal to 8 by pi square 8 by pi square summation 8 by pi square sin sin 2n plus 1 pi by 2 r1 sin 2n plus 1 pi by 2 r2 divided by divided by 2n plus 1 whole square so e pi square in mode that would have to 4 on the number minus sign on now so minus sign n is equal to 0 to infinity so this is our result g r1 r2 expansion in terms of the orthonormal function of the operator d square by dx square so actually in this slide we have studied the theory 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 the orthonormal eigen functions and eigen values we have substituted the eigen value and we have determined the eigen value so this much effort is the eigen value ok thank you